multiply by 4? Divide? Okay. <laughs> so one, divide by 4, right? Now multiply by 4. Okay. And then I found that, oh, there is uh, another noise, 800 hertz. Then, corresponding wavelengths, the half of this, okay, and half of this, so, that will automatically satisfy the maximum transmission loss. So, we are lucky, huh? Okay, we are lucky. But what if I have some spike over here? Okay, this one will pass out. So what I can do is, oh, oh, Mr. A, can you share your room with us? So he can put some partition over here. By putting partition over here, then we can argue that this way, coral wavelengths can be blocked as well as coral wavelengths corresponding to this partition can be blocked too. Right? So, based on this kind of concept, we can design reactive, reactive type silencer. But as you noticed already, the length of this case would not be the length, exactly the same length that we can have acoustical, what, the, the, the geometrical, I mean, what I'm saying is this length, having this length, we can calculate the frequency or wavelength and then frequency. That does not exactly corresponding to the frequency that we calculate because we must consider effective lens. Right? We studied that, for example, for resonator, if resonator has flange, the effective lens is changing. On flange the case, effective lens is it's not the same as the flange the case. So this is is this flanged case or unflanged case? All right? What if I put some pipe over here? It will be changing. The effective length will be changing. All right? Okay. But this one would have a good, better back pressure characteristic compared with this case because the there is a good guide that can guide the ma major flow. So, so designing silence is very complicated. There is no one solution that can reduce this noise effectively. There are many, many choices. Uh, mathematically speaking, it's not well posed the problem. There is no one solution. Therefore, the type of silencer is is, is is normally depending on the automobile, I mean, which automobile, and I mean, which, which, which I mean, car maker's uh, history. So if you open the one car maker's silence, you will see some picture that looked like this, but some car maker, the muffler does not look like this, but entirely different, scale, different style. Okay? And additionally, there is a noise that is about more than one kilohertz, and we know that at this, kind, at this high frequency, Sound-absorptive material will work very well. So
So we can put sound absorptive material over there. Right? So when we when we have to design silence or, or muffler first, we have to look at the frequency characteristics of noise and then we decide whether or not we, we use sound absorptive material or some component that can really observe the sound effectively, for example, perforated pipe. And pipe have many holes. The fluid will have some difficulty to come out through the hole. Right? Suppose you have fluid particle and you want to get out to the hole and get into the hole, you will feel a lot of friction, right? So using that kind of or absorptive material we call dissipative silencer. So silence are actually composed by two components, reactive and dissipative type silencer. Okay? But the uh, basic principle to design the silencer based on what? Impedance mismatch. Okay? How much attenuation, how much transmission you will get using dissipative silence? You simply calculate R per I. Absorption coefficient. Right? That gives you how much energy you will you will I mean the, the that element will be will be dissipating. Right? So you measure R pi and then you can expect how much transmission loss you can get in high frequency region and then you design the muffler or silence using this kind of impedance mismatch. Then you can certainly come up with the first try of the silencer. And then what you have to do? You have to do the experiment and to see whether or not you got the right result. And then you have to tune it, maybe increase the size, maybe change the inside element, and so on. Maybe if you want to get a health, maybe you call Professor Zhang oh, uh, can I uh, have uh, some consult? Or you may buy some program that certainly simulate how much transmission you loss you will get. But there are many, many uh, software that can, that can simulate the how much transmission loss you will get, but, but it only gives you the reference idea, but you have to conform it by measuring it. Because effective length issue and often impedance of this one and this one, or if you have perforated pipe over here, and maybe you put perforated pipe over here, so impedance changes in space is very complicated and not easy to predict. Okay? So I introduced the way to design the silencer. Huh? How do we design it? See the spectrum force and then decide the reactive time muffler, the major dimension, and then decide the the, the, the length of partition. Okay? And then use maybe sound absorptive material or sound dissipation elements such as perforated pi to control the sound in high frequency. That is called the dissipative. Okay? So that summarized that certainly uh, completed what we designed to learn throughout this lecture. Okay.